Hi Kindergarten! Today we're going to learn about another person. Yesterday we learned about Ray Charles. Today we're going to learn about a woman named Helen Keller. Our first vocabulary word for today is the word deaf. Deaf means unable to hear or lacking in a sense of hearing. We already learned about blind, which means you can't see. Deaf means you cannot hear. So if you cannot hear, I drew this picture, or I put this picture up here to show you that sometimes you need to communicate using your body if you can't hear words. Our next word is disobedient. Disobedient means misbehaving or refusing to do what you're told. Like in this picture, this little boy is refusing to do the right thing and he's kicking a ball inside and about to break this little vase. Oof, disobedient. Our next word is frustrated. That means discouraged or unhappy when unable to complete a task as well as one would like. So for example, you might get really frustrated if you're trying to do a math problem and you're having a really hard time. If you're trying to write a certain word and you don't remember how to spell it, or just anytime you're trying to do something and it's not going very well. That feeling is called frustrated. Our last word is sensations. Sensations are feelings caused by one of your senses. So if you're sick, you might have a burning sensation in your throat, or maybe you're hearing beautiful music with your ears. All of your different senses give you different sensations. All right, let's get started. Remember, we have been talking of all of the different senses, the sense of sight, sense of hearing, the sense of taste, the sense of touch, and the sense of smell. Mm. And today we're going to be reading another biography. Remember, a biography is a story that is real or true about a person. So it's a story of a person's life that is real or true. Just like we read a biography about Ray Charles, now we're reading a biography about Helen Keller. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, Helen Keller is a famous writer and speaker who was not only deaf, but she was also blind, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and read this story. As I read, I really want you to think about Helen Keller's life and what different things happened to her, okay? You're going to listen to find out how she learned to talk, read, and write, even though she was deaf and blind. Here we go. Close your eyes and imagine sitting in a dark room with no windows and earmuffs covering your ears so that you cannot hear anything. Imagine that you can't see and you can't hear anything or anyone. Imagine that you can't talk either. Now imagine that you've got to stand up and move around this dark and silent room using only your hands and feet to guide you. How would you feel if you had to stay in this room? You'd probably feel startled and frightened by everything and everyone who touched you. You'd probably feel sorry for yourself and frustrated or discouraged that you couldn't tell anyone what you were thinking or what you needed. Well, that's what life was really like for a girl named Helen Keller. Helen Keller was born a long time ago, over 150 years ago. When Helen Keller was a baby, she caught a disease that made her lose completely both her eyesight and her hearing. For the rest of her life, Helen Keller was blind and deaf. Remember, deaf means she can't hear. Living in a world of total darkness and silence. Life was very hard for Helen Keller as she grew up. She became frustrated and angry because not only was she blind and deaf, she wasn't able to talk or communicate with other people. She felt sorry for herself and was often mean to other people. When children tried to play with her, she broke their toys. One time, she locked her mother in a room so she couldn't get out. At dinner time, Helen walked around the table sniffing everyone's food. If she smelled something she liked on someone else's plate, she would grab it and gobble it up. 
why do you think Helen acted this way as she was growing up? You could pause the video and tell a grown-up you're with or one of your siblings or cousins. Why do you think Helen Keller was acting like that as a kid? Hmm. Helen Keller felt her way through the world, groping and fumbling through the silent darkness. Her sense of touch, smell, and taste were her only connections to the outside world. As an adult, she remembered those days by saying, I literally thought with my body. The only memories she had from those years were sensations. So the feelings she got from her senses of touch, smell, and taste because she couldn't see or hear. She remembers that when she was really upset, she used to run outside and bury her hot face in the cool leaves and grass. Guided by her sense of smell, she would make her way through the garden until she could smell the roses and violets that calmed her down. Helen Keller's mother and father loved her very much, but because she could not understand the world around her, she seemed disobedient and hard to control. So disobedient means she didn't do what she was told. When she was six, her parents hired a special teacher named Ann Sullivan to take care of Helen at home. When Ann Sullivan came to stay with the family, she figured out that Helen was behaving badly out of frustration and anger. Ann Sullivan knew that Helen could break out of her dark world if she learned how to communicate with other people. But to communicate, Ann knew Helen would need to learn a lot of words. Whew. Ann Sullivan knew that because Helen couldn't hear or talk, she'd never learn what a word was. She started teaching Helen Keller words by using her fingers to write and spell words on the palm of Helen's hand. When Helen Keller splashed her hands with water, Sullivan took Helen's hand and spelled out the letters in water, W-A-T-E-R. And when Helen Keller pointed to herself, Sullivan spells out the letters in Helen, H-E-L-E-N. To Helen Keller, learning from Ann Sullivan was like being born a second time. Suddenly the world was not such a confusing, frightening place. Helen Keller later said, I had been a little ghost in a no world. Now I knew my name. I was a person. I could understand people and make them understand me. For the first time, Helen had a way to tell people what she was thinking. When Helen wanted to speak to Anne, she wrote words on Anne's hand. However, it took a long time to spell out a whole sentence. Eventually, Anne taught Helen sign language so that she was able to communicate more easily with others. Sign language is a special kind of language in which a person uses only his or her hands and fingers to make signs for letters and words. People use sign language to speak to people who are deaf or hearing impaired. For Helen Keller, however, there was an extra challenge. Since she could not see, she had to feel the other person's hand when they were making the signs in order to communicate using sign language. So here are the different letters. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All of the letters have different signs. Helen loved learning so much that Anne knew she would love reading books. Helen left home to go to a special school for blind children, and Anne Sullivan went with her. She learned to read books in Braille, a special kind of writing that used raised dots on the page. Using Braille, Helen was able to read the words by feeling them with her fingertips. At school, she made a lot of friends and earned excellent grades. Helen was determined to succeed, and with Anne's encouragement, she graduated from both high school and college. Later in her life, Helen Keller became a famous writer and speaker. In her books and speeches, she told the remarkable story of her life. People were amazed that Mrs. Keller never gave up and was able to overcome the challenges of being both deaf and blind. Wow. So after hearing this story, it's pretty remarkable to think that she went through her whole life not being able to see or hear. What do you think it might be like to live without your sense of hearing and sight? Make sure you click on your exit ticket underneath this video and that you get ready to talk about this story and Helen Keller with Mr. Malcolm.
Great job, kindergarten.